Welcome back. Well, if you or someone you love has atrial fibrillation, medicines that cause blood thinning aren't really the only option. And uh, interventional cardiologist Dr. Matthew Sample joins us now from Cardiovascular, Cardiovascular Associates. I wish I could talk today. Anyway, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So we were talking about this procedure called Watchman. Tell our viewers what it is. So the Watchman procedure is a small patch that goes inside the heart. Um, the area of the heart that tends to cause strokes due to atrial fibrillation is the left atrial appendage. Uh, about 90% of the strokes that are caused due to AFib come from the left atrial appendage. And the Watchman procedure is a patch that closes this for patients that aren't able to tolerate blood thinners. So who would be a good candidate for this? So anyone, uh, usually these patients are referred from their primary care doctor or general cardiologist. Usually they need a blood thinner due to their AFib, but for whatever reason are unable to tolerate it due to perhaps history of falls, mm -hmm. um, severe bleeds in the past, either on or off blood thinners, or patients who are frail or for whatever reason are just unable to take a blood thinner. This is an excellent alternative. And when I was reading some of this information, you know, I, I, it's really for the atrial, it treats the atrial fibrillation, correct? Because my mother-in-law, I was telling you, is on blood thinner, but it's mm -hmm. more for blood clots. She does the Coumadin. My grandmother does Coumadin for that as well. But So it's not really for those patients, not just patients who are on blood thinners, but it's for the atrial fibrillation, correct? That, that's exactly Exactly right. So this is for patients who have uh, a risk of stroke due to AFib um, that just aren't able to tolerate blood thinners. So if you've had a history of blood clots in your legs or something like that, this procedure wouldn't necessarily treat that. So if a patient thinks that they might, they're watching this, they might be eligible, what steps do they need to take? They need to contact their primary care doctor or their cardiologist uh, to discuss the Watchman procedure. And if they feel that it's appropriate uh, to be referred on for uh, to an implant or an interventional cardiologist or an electrophysiologist. And is this a new procedure? It's, it's relatively new. It, uh, it was commercially available uh, in the last several years. Uh, it's been studied for a lot longer than that. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's relatively new. Okay, great. And what is the number if somebody wants to talk to you with, talk with you directly about this procedure um, before they talk to their doctor? Um, how can we get in contact with you? So contact Cardiovascular Associates, uh, and we're happy to see anyone uh, and, and discuss the procedure with them. All right. Well, thank you.